Let's start exporting our garment now into DAS Studio and rig it there to make it conforming clothing. And for that, of course, the first thing that we need to check out is the UVs. By default, the UVs won't be set up when you use a garment in Marvelous Designer. Let's switch our 2D pattern window over to the UV editor now. And I'll show you this new thing in which you can pack your UVs automatically with Marvelous Designer. It's really, really cool. It's a feature that I wish had been there for ages, and I'm so, so glad they finally released it. So thank you, team. First of all, we'll notice that all the patterns are overlapping, and this is not something that previously we could uh, we could really deal with. One thing we could do is right-click here and then choose choose to reset UV to 2D arrangement, and then it'll look exactly like our 2D pattern layout looked like. But uh, before that, all we could do is select the pieces that we wanted to put into one of these tiles here. This is basically how to set up UVs. They need to be inside this zero to one space, and then right click and say fit UV to zero to one. And when you do that, even though it fits them in, there's a ton of wasted space here, and that is really not nice. And you always have to either do this manually and then resize patterns but now we can use this option up here UV packing and it works on the selected pattern pieces so if I just select everything and select this option then this window comes up and says hey what you want to do fit it to zero to one and basically it packs it so if you don't do anything else just use the defaults hit apply it takes a moment to calculate that it does this isn't that amazing this is something I've been waiting for for years so I'm so so glad this is now in there but if you want to make use of the UDIM tiles, you might want to say, hey, maybe the sleeves need to be in a different UV tile than my base. So in order to increase that and get higher resolution textures out of it, you can select different pieces and put them in different tiles. So if we say this window can stay open, it's a floating window. If this is the base piece here, I'm going to go and move these out. And this here is all the other stuff. Let's say this here needs to be in this UV tile. I can pick just whatever selected here, pick a selected tile and make it the one to zero tile. And this gets the white outline. And that's where they'll end up, but packed. So if I hit apply, then all these will be rejigged, space map maximized and then put into here. Now I can use my other pieces, these ones here, and then put that into the zero to one default tile, hit apply, and then I got myself two UDIM tiles. And that's really cool. And you can do this as granular as you want. If you don't know what UDIM tiles are, don't worry about it. Then use all of them, all these pieces, and put them into the first tile here. Just know that if you get more into 3D, UDIM tiles is a really good way of maximizing UV space and not end up with sort of 16K textures just to get one one part of your garment a higher resolution than another part. Yeah, so this is how to do it. There's also an option to fix the scale ratio here. This will then, I think, disregard the texel density. But in this case, let's just leave it all, hit uh, close, and that's our UV setup. So that's really nice, both of them in a separate tile here. Actually, come to think of it, because we want to keep it a little bit simple, uh, I'm going to just go and put all of it in the first tile here. And also we get a bit of practice here. Apply that, and then we only end up with one tile. I think just going forward, this is going to be a little bit uh, easier. But uh, just know that you can use the UDIM tiles here. Before we export our shirt out, there's one other thing I wanted to bring to your attention, and that is the mesh resolution of the garment. So because we've been using the modular configurator, these all these pieces here have technically come, I suppose, from different designs. So the collar was probably designed at a different stage than the rest of the shirt. And if we go and switch this over here to the wireframe on surface, you'll see the kind of eclectic mix of things that we have. So we've got quads on the collar, but we have tries on the base piece here, and we've got a different resolution on the arms than we have on the base piece. So it's just one of those things to keep in mind. You might want to make that cohesive. So just right click and uh, put quadrangulate to turn everything into quads, everything that is selected right now. And then at least everything is quads. And you could also opt to make this base shirt here, the front and the back. You could turn that into smaller resolution. Yeah, look, the, the arms and the back, they have a particle distance of 10, I believe, and the front has 20. So why don't we just make that 10 as well? just while we're at it and then it looks a little bit more cohesive here you can also go and remesh it if you like oh this piece also has 20 let's go make that 10 as well and now at least we have you know everything is a little bit more cohesive it's not 
super important just something i wanted to let you know also before you make this extremely detailed like five or three millimeters of particle distance there is something that i didn't know and i thought i'll pass this on thank you for websaw for bringing this to my attention by the way if the resolution of the garment is much higher than the resolution of the avatar that you're fitting it on you may get weird results when the transfer utility infers the rigging because it doesn't know what to map to what so in dash studio if you switch over to wire texture shaded you'll see that this is what the topology of your genesis figure looks like if your garment were much higher than that so this looks fairly similar but if your garment were much higher than that and just as an example i'll just use the front piece here and make that say five millimeter particle distance so that the topology looks something like come on buddy you can do it like this, you'll see that there's more geometry here than there is here. So as a result, the face groups on the Genesis figure, like the breast shapes, they might get that super ugly kink because the transfer utility just doesn't know how else to infer it. Whereas if you keep it more or less cohesive, so similar to the density of what you have on the target avatar, then you'll have a much better result on the transfer utility. So interesting tip. There's actually an article on the DAS documentation site that I didn't know existed. And it's a very valuable tip. So there we go. This is how we do that. Let's go and export the garment now with a file export obj i'll call it raglan shirt and in here i can go and select what i'd like to export now so this design comes with what's known as trims in this case we have some buttons on the front we don't want to export the avatar so um, deselect that but if you do want to export the buttons you just leave this all checked so all patterns with this is all that and trims is anything that you attach to it like buttons zippers and all that i'm going to go and leave everything on there now but ideally if you wanted to use this shirt with deforce in das studio you probably export those separately and then attach them as rigid follow notes i'm not going to worry for now but um, just know that there is an option to deal with those things separately and if you use the stitch feature there's another thing that we need to talk about so just be aware the geometry can can be very very high if you use the stitch feature marvelous design and opt and export those as obj so make sure they're switched to texture instead just wanted to give that out there we wanted this as a single object with welded and as a thin object we want unified uv coordinates but here we don't really want to export any maps because we would do that in the uv editor and since we're going to do our textures in a different program later if we're going to do them at all you know it's, we're going to leave those out for now scale make sure this is also set to the one that you intend to import it with so das studio is fine and that is all we need hit ok and then we should be able to import our shirt to our avatar here and it should also fit let's see if my theory is correct <laughs> it's all theory isn't it until you actually come to work with these things import and here i'm going to use my das studio scale again with all the rest of the defaults hit accept and there we go shirt fits perfect and we can see geometry is similar so that's that's a good sign that is a good sign and it looks like it fits my man or my woman really well great in the next episode let's have a look at how we can run the transfer utility and then turn this into conforming clothing and see what we need to fix in order for this to look nice stay tuned for that